Anybody remember uh, the Humpty Dumpty nursery rhyme, Humpty Dumpty? I remember that? Yeah? Cool. Uh, I want to read that. It'd be fun. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. It's kind of sad. My fear is that many of us, if we were honest with ourselves, subconsciously believe that Humpty Dumpty's fate is our fate. That yeah, God forgives us. That's great. He forgives us. But we still sit here in shambles, in our brokenness, in pieces. And that for the rest of our lives, we can never have victory over the sin that consumes us. We can never experience life without those things. But the thing is, that great theologian who wrote Humpty Dumpty forgot about a certain king. Because Jesus is the king who doesn't send his horses and men to put you back together again. He inserts himself into this story that he's writing, and he's the one who does it because he's the only one who can do it. It doesn't matter how much, how many pieces you are in, he can put you back together again. One of my favorite rappers is Lecrae, and uh, he's a Christian rapper, and he wrote a song that speaks directly to this, and it's called Broken. And I love to read some of this to you. Whenever I can quote Humpty Dumpty and Lecrae in the same sermon, it's a good day. <laughs> this is what it says. From heaven we all small, can't nobody buy tickets. You better have will call, that reaper he will call. They hurt just like me, work just like me. Lust of the flesh, the pride of life, they flirt with like me. Regardless of our money, we all broke together. And if we don't swallow our pride, we gon' choke together. Trying to hold on to our lives with these clumsy hands. Fell off the wall of purity doing that Humpty dance. Forget the king's horses, forget the king's men. The king is coming to put us back together again. Been fighting since my daddy left, fighting for approval. Think I don't know trying to get this world to love me is futile. We Tyler Durden won't be the burden of being less than what we were made to be like being what they suggest. We are outsiders, outliers, outcry as loud, the meek inherit the earth, and God opposes the proud. And then it ends with Carrie Job singing this a few times in a row. It says, your presence in me is all the strength that I need. Your presence in me is all the strength that I need, and I'll always be home. So the cray knows what it's like to be broken. He grew up not knowing his father. He grew up being abused. And that resulted in the brokenness that perpetuated in his life to where he's trying to seek people's approval to actually feel something in himself, to actually have a self-worth. And I know in a room full of people like this that there are things in our lives that cause us to be broken. When we look at that thing, we can't help but to cry. When we think about that thing that was done to us, we can't help but to weep. When we think about the things that we did yesterday, or maybe even a couple of years ago, we can't help but get the shame out of our, out of our minds. It's just stuck there. I know that many of us, if, if you've experienced life and you're not a perfect Christian, that you've experienced something that you feel shameful about, that you feel brokenness about and that the results are still perpetuating today to where you are trying to achieve something so that you can believe that you are worth it. Because in fact, no one has looked at you as if you matter. No one has looked at you as if they care. And so all your life, you're trying to seek what you cannot find apart from Christ. And I'm here to say that Humpty Dumpty doesn't have the same fate as you because the king the King of Kings is coming back and he is back and he is willing to put you back together again, no matter how many pieces you're in.